I was asked about the mystery of love. Now, this was a conversation that took place over the course of about two hours uh, while I was with a phenomenal group of individuals in Geneva, Switzerland. So the answers or the responses that we co-created had everything to do with the specific questions they have. But here's what it boils down to for me as part of my journey. And remember, there isn't anything that I offer that I seek to impose. I'm just sharing with you what a fellow journeyer has experienced and what you do with the information, if anything at all, is absolutely on you. So the mystery of love uh, for me is my willingness and ability, or maybe I should reverse that, my ability, because I have to be able to do something and then decide that I will do it. So the ability and willingness to be open and available to give and receive love in equal measure. And I think where the mystery has come in for me is, is the stuff that I've made up that's hindered my ability, right? So maybe there were some skills that I needed to develop. Uh, listening, you know, we call them listening skills, intrapersonal developmental skills, right? Intra meaning with oneself and interpersonal uh, with another or within the construct of a group. Uh, some people we know, uh, you know, listen, more than they speak and others speak more than they listen. So creating that balance is the same as somebody that gives more than they receive or somebody that can receive or take more than they give. Um, so, you know, succinctly, my ability coupled with my willingness, my desire, my commitment, my choosing to give and receive love in equal fashion. Um, and some things to play with on your journey that I offer so that you have a sense of whether you're operating out of love or for me, it's opposite fear. And what's true for me is in every moment I'm making a choice from one of those two places, love or fear. So let's just deal with love, the mystery of love. See if you feel like you're expanding or opening up or you're giving uh, or you're receiving or if you feel alive. And if the answer to any of those is no, then you may be doing its opposite, right? So if you're not expanding, then you may be contracting. If you're not giving, then you may be taking. Um, or if you're not giving or receiving, you may be taking. If you don't feel alive or that you're living, you may feel like you're in survival mode or that some aspect of you has died, right? Like your hopes, dreams, aspirations, or you just feel dead emotionally. So the mystery of love uh, may have only... It may simply provide an opportunity to see how we block it, how we block it from coming in, how we block it from going out. Uh, the mystery itself may indicate a need to develop some skills or to acquire some tools uh, that support one's ability, being able to make that choice or will themselves into giving and or receiving love in equal fashion. As always, I hope that supports your journey and be gentle with yourselves and others.